American Psycho meets Heathers. Sounds like my kind of film. Hey everyone, welcome to another review, and here's my review for the movie Thoroughbreds. Yes, Thoroughbreds stars, stars Olivia Cook, Anya Taylor-Joy, and Anton Yelchin, rest in peace man. And this movie, this movie is directed by Corey Finley, and this is a new dark satirical film. That is Anton Yelchin's final movie and final performance. I think I'm not 100% on that, don't quote me on that. But still, yes, Thoroughbreds, yes, I know a lot of people have reviewed this movie already because... This is technically a 2018 film, but it went to a bunch of film festivals last year, like Sundance and Fantastic Film Fest, so a lot of people had early reviews for this movie, but technically I only got to see this movie in 2018 because it is a 2018 film, it came to theaters 2018, so I feel like I got to see Thoroughbreds, yes, and Thoroughbreds, the story of Thoroughbreds is about two teenagers, two girls named Lily and Amanda, and basically they grew up with each other and stuff, and then they meet up with each other, and one of the girls played by Olivia Cook is basically a girl who expresses all her emotions and stuff, and then the other girl played by Anya Taylor Joy is a girl who bears her emotions inside. And basically, it's about Anya Taylor Joy's character and her mother's with this new guy. It's her stepdad, and he is a complete piece of shit and stuff. And basically, the two of them hatch up an idea to kill him. But then they hire, uh, they, uh, hire a local thug hustler, played by uh, Anton Yelchin, named Tim, to help give them pointers of how to commit a murder and everything. So yeah, this is a straight, dark, satirical film about killing your stepfather. Sounds like my kind of film. And yeah... This is a very unique and very indie film. You can tell this is a straight, independent film. Like, the, how this movie is crafted and filmed, even its sort of dark, twisted humor, this is a, definitely a film not for everybody. This is definitely not a film that a lot of people will be laughing at, and a lot of people might not be, like, a, a fully invested in stuff, because it is very dark. It is very gritty at times, and just very raw. And it's very inappropriate with its humor. It is definitely my kind of humor. It's definitely a film I was laughing consistently in. And it's definitely a film I really enjoyed. Now, I loved the unique uh, style this movie used to craft this film. How this movie was edited and shot. It was very unique, very stylistic and everything. Again, even how the actors act. Sometimes they act very monotoned and stuff. And it works for the comedic sake of the film, and it really fits well with the tone, and I thought this movie was incredibly well crafted and very well directed. Yes, uh, Corey Finley, I think this is his first, uh, first film, I think this is his directorial debut, again, don't quote me on that, but still, he did a very good job directing this film, and I love how he made this very artsy, but also very dark and very ominous, and yeah. I thought he did a very good job writing and directing this film. I thought the dialogue was really snappy, I thought it was very humorous, and I thought these characters were really well-written characters, and I thought both Olivia Cook and Anya Taylor-Joy gave fantastic performances. These girls are hilarious, they both work great off each other, and they both give fantastic performances. Olivia Cook hasn't always impressed me lately, but she impresses me in this one. She is fantastic. She was great in Me, me Your Own the Dying Girl, but she was even better in this film. She was Probably the show stealer of the film. She was fantastic. Anya Taylor Joy was great. Anton Yelchin, rest in peace, man. It was great seeing Anton Yelchin in this film. I thought he was really enjoyable and also very, very comedic in this film. Even the stepfather, played by Paul Speaks, I thought he even gave a very good performance and stuff. And this all ends with this very dark and weird conclusion. And again, I really liked everything about this movie. It felt a lot like. Uh, the f filmmaking style was very me, Earl and the Dying Girl, very art house and stuff, but also very, um, what do you call it, very quirky, very dark and stuff. It had the same sort of style technique as me, Earl and the Dying Girl, and it had the humor like Heathers. Like, this is definitely a, the Heathers of our generation stuff. If you love movies like Heathers, American Psycho, and even me, Earl and the Dying Girl, I think this movie is definitely up your alley. I thought this was extremely well crafted, very well directed, very well shot. I love the story about these girls just trying to murder their stepfather. It is fantastic. It's also got some really good social commentary and really realistic really, 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 really realistic uh, college students and high school students in our world and our society and how they act. It's very realistic and very blunt and very dark. Fucking loved it. But yeah, the performances, the direction, the cinematography, the editing, uh, the story, I thought everything about this movie worked and I actually had an utter blast with this film. Yes, the, there is some parts of the ending I wish they uh, did differently. I won't spoil anything, but I wish a few things in the ending 
wrapped up a little differently. But again, this is a very dark film and a very satirical film, and I tried to figure it was going to end like that, but there's a, there's another way I wanted this movie to end, and it didn't, and it, it was kind of a minor nitpick for me. It wasn't a big flaw for the film, but it was just a minor nitpick for me. I think this film, all in all, is really great, really funny, really dark, very twisted, and definitely not for everyone, so again, my kind of film. So yeah, definitely check this movie out if it's coming in a theaters near you. It's a really great film. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give the movie Thoroughbreds a 9 out of 10. Definitely check this one out. It is dark, twisted, and again, American Psycho meets Heathers. How can you not say no to that? So yeah, that was my review for the movie Thoroughbreds. So in the comment section below, please tell me, what is your favorite movie starring Anya Taylor-Joy? This girl's been knocking out of the park lately, so what is your favorite movie so far that she's been played in? Uh, that she's played in, sorry, that been played in. This is one of my favorites. This and The Witch is like a really close, like, I'm very curious to see how she is in uh, The New Mutants and stuff, but this and The Witch are uh, her best roles so far. But what do you think is her best role so far? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and enjoy the dark side.